Next question is from Mason Hartsock. For trainers who have no interest in online training, what are the best next steps to survive and thrive as we progress away from lockdown and gyms begin opening again? Oh, boy. I, can I, that, we address the question ooh. first? Like, I find it really interesting that um, that somebody would ask a question and um, and be like, you know, for someone who does not want to do that, like, I, I'm going to take a hard stand. Listen, I didn't want to do that. I loved personal training in person. I like the real interaction with real people. It doesn't get much better than that. It doesn't. It's uh, it's more enjoyable. It, you, there's, I think there's other, there's lots of benefits to it. But because you don't like it, uh, to ignore the evolution of of what's happening right in front of your eyes, I think is is a is a bad idea. Uh, and it doesn't necessarily mean that I think you have to go from being an online trainer because of COVID, now all of a sudden you decide you're gonna be a virtual trainer completely. That's not what I mean by that. But there are some simple things that if I were to advise you to become a virtual trainer that I would also tell you some steps to take and that would be to build a virtual presence, mm -hmm. right? There's a tremendous amount of value for you even if you continue to build an, uh, uh, an in-person business to creating content that lives in the virtual world. Mm -hmm. So building a, a YouTube channel, building a Facebook page, building an Instagram page, writing blogs, writing free white papers and guides, uh, you know, creating things like that is only going to support your in-person business. Meanwhile, it also protects you in case that completely disappears or gets reduced from, you know, X amount percentage of population down to, you know, 50% less than that. So I, I think instead of resisting ever becoming a, a virtual trainer or thinking like that, you should build your current model as if you were going to, to protect yourself and also support your in-person business. That yeah. would be my advice. I remember even, and this is way before all this stuff went down where, you know, virtual training was a lot more prevalent and like, it's really necessary right now. I, I was looking at it as a way of systematizing my business and figuring out the way that I do everything and being able to duplicate that uh, and be able to hand that off and and look at it more of like I'm I'm running this business to then you know have the availability to step away from my business and pass on my business to somebody else. That's just a smart way to look at any business. Well, one of the one of the most beautiful things that has has happened from this, and I get this sometimes. Like I have I have some friends that still don't understand Mind Pump. They don't listen, they don't, they're whatever, but they're like, you know, they're starting to hear the success. They know somebody else who listens and that's like, oh my God, like so-and-so knows your podcast and this and that. And, you know, and now they're asking like, well, what if like, what happens when you reach all the fitness people and they've either bought your program or not? And like, you guys aren't making any money. Like, what would you do or how are you going to handle that? And it's like, what's beautiful is we all could always fall back on training people in, in person. Mm -hmm. And it would be easier now than it's ever been in our entire life. Oh, because we have a huge online presence. Yes, because yeah. we've built a, a network of, of people that we've provided a ton of free, valuable, virtual information to that if one day we all said, okay, Mind Pump Instagram or Mind Pump uh, podcast is shutting down, but Sal, Justin, Adam are opening uh, their availability to train clients in person who would like to sign up. I don't think that would, any of us would have a problem actually making that pivot at all. And it, it protects us if we were ever to do that. Here's something to also consider for the current market. So I could see this being an opportunity um, for people who, for trainers who like to train people in person. You, you heard us earlier talking about schools and how there's micro schooling and homeschooling is going on uh, like crazy. And people in, yeah, in California, they're shutting gyms down. There's still a demand for fitness, but I think that there may be an opportunity to deliver it uh, to people's homes. Um, I believe when mm -hmm. people are doing this micro schooling thing, they're going to still want an activity or exercise, you know, portion. And these people may also hire tutors to help with their kids. Why not hire a trainer to show up once right. or twice a week? Do to their physical education. Do the physical training for the kids or- And who to, better to do it than some PE Than a personal teacher. trainer. Right. Right. Or to, to take the whole family what through a, a workout. Point. What a great point. Or to advertise that you'll go to people's homes and you take all the safety precautions, you wear a mask, 
Uh, you stay, you know, at a distance from your client. You bring your own equipment. It's, it's all sanitized. sanitized. Exactly. And and they work out, and you do it outdoors, and you go from home to home. That's a market that was difficult to penetrate before for trainers. Yeah. I feel like that's an that would be a, a much more open market now. Yeah, and you factor in your travel, you know, and all that kind of stuff in terms of like, I mean, I actually ran a business very similar to that towards the end of my career just because my whole goal was to be able to provide, uh, you, you know, I could... I I could basically fit any sort of schedule. Like I'm going to find my way in there. And so a lot of times that meant me having to actually physically be at their work or at their home. And you really don't need a whole lot of equipment, not, not, a, not a big investment for you to have uh, within your vehicle. And then bringing that in, you can provide them real, like great workouts. So oh it's, 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 it's ripe for that, for sure.